underground military bases had been built for the last 75 years. Post-war contracts were signed by government leaders making programs that had to go covert and allow them to build their technology underground. It was too much of a threat to their control to build on the surface of the planet. By keeping future technology hidden from the public, it gave them the power to manipulate people's everyday life and implement their power. After the Grieda Treaty was signed, bases were set up all around the world where they could develop the technology they had exchanged from the meeting with the Rigelians and usher it into society without losing their power. But this alien Rigelian technology was way beyond what we could expect. So advanced that it defied science and would kill society's control structure instantly. So they had to keep it secret and drip feed it to the world. This kept people trapped in the belief that countries were oppositions to one another. When really, at the top, we already had a one world government. But the illusion of choice kept people believing that they were free. People's boundaries were removed and this let them steer the course of evolution. The bases were located all around the world and connected within countries from underground rail networks, hidden from the public, never to be seen. Many spoke about the bases, but were either silenced or looked at as crackpots of the world as the mainstream always silenced the truth. The different level of bases didn't just involve high-end technologies, but also genetics, hybrids and all sorts of strained experimentation. Looking around the world, I always questioned whether some had a soul. Maybe the gears of society was being operated by these hybrids. Nothing seemed real anymore. But you can understand why something would want to experiment on humans. We were an interesting, complex being. Abundant, manifesting creators of light. Yet we suffocate ourselves from a breed of low-density consciousness, making us operate at most around 2% of our potential. We only limited ourselves for our own desire to be controlled. This destructive energy, in which they evolved people's consciousness to the highest point and then withdrawing life, only to allow them to introduce their dictatorship. We have been here before. This cycle has happened. But history had been erased, censored so people had forgotten. We were coming to the final endgame. The push was only because they were running out of time. The major astrological alignments were preparing for the next planetary cycle. And when this was set, there was no turning back. We are highly advanced beings that have allowed an alien breed to manipulate our thoughts and mind patterns. Deep underground military bases were only built because we denied our reality and ate the candy floss that was fed to us. Beyond the bright lights lay a forever growing darkness that most of society had ignored all their life. The reality you desire is right in front of you. If you don't like it, you can change it. Get off the ride, but that starts with you. Your own thoughts and feelings. Their power was tearing human minds to pieces, and they were putting it back together again the way that they desired. But when we awake from the dream, we awake within ourselves and connect to our internal power. A power beyond fear and a connection which is non-material. Where do you hide yourself? How do you express the inner you?